Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Persona 5. Last time, Kaneshiro turned himself in. I thought he already did that, but he just uh, stopped blackmailing us, I guess. That's what happened. <laughs> anyway, today, I think we're gonna do our exams. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's go. Oh. Watch a DVD first. I need my kindness up. If you try to save both the mother and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or... I could save them both. <laughs> yeah. I can do this. You need to trust me. Yeah. The story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. That's incredible. Oh, this guy just doesn't have the word surrender in his dictionary, does he? Yeah. It's like J.C. Denton. Oh. So, we finished watching I See You, huh? Maybe you'll learn a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I better level up, because I'm still wrecked too. Nope. <laughs> Someday. Okay. Let's go return to DVD soon. Well, then. well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> 35. I wonder what the Phantom Thieves' goal is. Are they just choosing bad people to steal hearts from? No. Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Yeah, Mishima. Oh yeah, don't they have a forum or something? <laughs> what if you make a request on there and they follow through? <laughs> You're liable then. Alright. Monday, July 11th. <sighs> what a refreshing morning. How are you doing? Good. I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. Yeah, we did a good job, right? I mean, uh... The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. <laughs> yeah. How the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? True. Let people talk. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. True. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Yeah, I think they're right on it. Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Yeah. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. But, but the train isn't here yet. What, what am I waiting for? <laughs> it's even more packed than usual today. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Shibuya crime ring reveals all. The leader's confession has led to the arrest of other key members. Sudden rampage, highway accident, the driver's death has been confirmed, taking the total count up to four. Hot spots of Tokyo. Come see the fireworks show on July 18th. Ooh, I next see. week. Thanks to Kanashiro spilling the beans, that organization is falling like a house of cards. <laughs> We're getting more and more famous. I guess. Oh yeah, okay, I did study. <laughs> I, I went back to the previous episodes, and since I labeled all the dates, I just went to the start of the date and look at the questions and I think I studied the best I can. <laughs> Actually, uh, I don't know. I just skipped through it. Tests are coming up. Everyone study. I know some of you are really on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. It really messes up your information retention. Uh, is that why I don't remember anything? Oh, speaking of, do you guys know the difference between short-term and long-term memory? I didn't study for this! The simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary. Contextual but long-term memories stick with you. In the short term, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information. Hmm. But your brain's capacity for long-term memory is huge. It might even be infinite, according to some theories. No way. Okay, Zikun, what do you think about all this? I don't remember. Short-term memories only stick with you for seconds at a time. That said, how long do you think you could retain long-term memories? Who? Huh? Um... So he wants to know how long you could keep long-term memories, huh? This is a tricky one. What is a long-term memory anyway? Memories that last a long time. <laughs> uh, memories that last a long time. Uh... 
uh, memories that last a long time. Yeah, it was something like that. So anyway, you keep them for how long time? Then the question is how long? I already mentioned something about a amount of memories you could store, right? Something like uh, infinite. Yeah. You have theoretically infinite space for them, then theoretically you'd be able to retain them for... Like, three days? Forever? Yeah, I think so too. So that's it. Long-term memories will never fade away. This is it. That's right. I'm impressed. I have bad hammer. Long-term memory. Basically, stuff encoded into your long-term memory never really goes away. Short-term memories become long-term memories through reiteration be great if you could encode all the test answers to long-term memory, huh? Oh well, can't always get what you want. Shit. No way. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that! He might not be too bad. Nice You're going. on a roll today! <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you say? Oh. <laughs> but at least you've got summer break once exams are over, so do your best to study, okay? Yeah, memories really never really go away. That means I'll remember my past eventually, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're actually a car. Uh oh. 718. Marine Day. Finals in on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> the Fireworks Festival! You're really quick to look that stuff up like that. Get back to studying. I'll do that tomorrow. Hey. We're in the middle of class talking about those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey are you listening? no, I was texting. You pay attention. Is that how you listen to when someone's talk to you? Feel a murderous intent. Am I gonna dodge? Oh, I dodged this time. Whoa, that was an epic dodge. Okay, so last time I got hit, but then when I got a game over and I redid the the this conversation, I actually hit or er, dodged. So. I guess it's like a chance base. I can't believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> well, whatever. Moving on. Hey! Oh, you got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. What? I want kindness. <laughs> Why is my kindness so low? I need to go to the flower shop more. Hey! Lex Coon. Heading home, it's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds oh, me. Oh, that do you remember the counseling Dr. Mark is offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. Teachers say he has been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than just town. Hmm. Maybe I should find out for myself at some point. What about studying? Actually, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? Oh, oh, oh. that's why I studied. <laughs> I'm joking. But make sure you study well, alright? I guess. Also, it all right, then. raises your SP. That's why I go to, to the counseling services. I need to buy some more test prep booklets on the way home. See you later. Bye. Senpai. Oh, hey, Kasumi. What a pleasant surprise! Are you headed home too? Uh, not anymore. Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me, there's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Sure, of course. I've got time. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? I, I do say sure a lot. Huh? See, Coon. And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? You two know each other? Oh, wait, the... My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. Oh. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. Seekun? She's my friend. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Uh, some, uh, <laughs> Phantom Thief stuff. Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. 
It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. Oh no. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before? I was chosen to be our club representative. Congrats. Oh, there you go. Congratulations. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Yeah, what he said. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? Sure. We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. But, but I gotta change my DVD. That would be wonderful. Does that work for you, Senpai? And my book, I guess. That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. As long as I've never been there before. Of course. Lead the way. Are you gonna pay? Phew. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. So what do you have, Akichi? No, it's her steaming. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. Oh. I had this image Ice that coffee? you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? No. I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Yeah, but you were on it to go get desserts. I wish I hadn't learned that. <laughs> You're more innocent than I had expected. Yeah, I'm definitely not a phantom thief. I've been wondering. How do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. Thanks. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Oh no. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. Yikes. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. True. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. True. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Yep. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? <laughs> it's not wrong. That's what I would ah. say. So you think you should let others come to their own conclusions on the matter? Wait. Could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? No. I hate him. I hate myself. I didn't mean to start an argument. <laughs> I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. Do you smoke? No. I'm sorry. I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right. Then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. You got this. 
Thank you. And these are my phrases. Well then, see you later. Oh, the hell. Uh, so you had a uh, friends over for a study session, huh? How'd you know? Nothing gets by me. I own the place, remember? See those cameras? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. Hey! Not to think of it, the guy who approached you in the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by his cover. Hmm? Next, an update on the accident that occurred while the public was focused on the Kaneshiro arrest. At 8 o'clock this morning, a car spun out of control in a highway accident that left four dead. Police intended to press charges with the death of the victims against the drivers at fault. The man in question had no history of disease and was a driver for a restaurant, giant, goodness food. What did you say? This is scary. You better drive safe. I don't have my license. The accident this morning was awful. Did you go, go out of control again like that one time? That's what I hear, the driver was acting funny or something. The vice president in our company might have been caught up in it. I'm sure it's chaos in the office. One of these weird accidents going in, I don't feel safe getting into my car anymore. Thanks for the coffee. I'll leave what I owe you here, boss. See ya. Uh, oh yeah. Match. Another report. Let's go, Mishima. Oh wait, let me go upstairs. Double check. Nice. Oh, wait, I could just scan. Uh, before I go, I gotta go to Shibuya. Where is it? Uh, where's the DVD place? Oh, wait, um, I need, let me talk to the politician guy. Uh, whatever, let me get the DVD first. Uh, return to you. Thank you very much. Take a look around. Mm, proficiency, guts, charm. I'll take charm. Oh, I'm so close. I do need to work a jab. Welcome. Uh. Oh. 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 Let's go... square. Oh, that's the guy. Let me check my lottery winnings. Congratulations. 5,000! Let's go! Wow. Yeah, but I guess it's better than nothing. Summer Mammoth Lottery are now on sale. Come purchase one. Welcome. Oh, man. I just got this. Oh, well. Who's this? I've got fan of these fever. Let's hear it for peace in Shibuya, buddy. We need to get home and get studying. Exams are coming up, aren't you screwed otherwise? Nah, bro. I'll just flex my connections like a boss. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Wait. Hmm? Junior Kaneshiro quite incredibly invaded both the financial markets and the political world. A lot of business executives appear to be nervous about Dez's arrest. I didn't know it was much of a big deal. Bravo to the fan of these. Is that in my game? Okay, I thought it was outside my house. It's like, I've never heard of an ambulance like that. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't celebrate them just yet. They still remain suspicious. Everyone. Facing civic disorder and economic uncertainty, our citizens are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve this situation, and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people, who can the people currently depend on? Yes, the Phantom Thieves. The fact that they are being lionized is proof that the government is malfunctioning. The mismanagement by authority figures is what has led us to this terrible condition. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I'm interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Mm -hmm. hmm. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. 
I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some things if you choose to attend a few of my speeches, though. So, uh, I'll be glad to. Really, that would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? No. You're a student from Shujin Academy. Hmm, it's nice to meet you. I am Toranusuke Yoshida. Hmm. I used to be a member of the, the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. What? Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interest of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on their rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Hmm. Easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no-name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's going to change. We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? You mustn't base your decisions on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut up again already. Just a washed up politician. <clears throat> if I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to. In the best interest of all, ha! Save your flowering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Oh, roasted. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what do you think of my speech? Uh, well, the heckling. Best interest of all. <sighs> Indeed. Do you feel the same? Such as I am. I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a different self opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? No. Uh, you won't get elected? Yes. I believe I can, if my message connects with my audience. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. <laughs> True. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I learned a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Oh wait, uh, this was an actual... I shall see you again soon. Perhaps I shall ask you impressions again for some time. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Mishima. Oh no. Uh, Tuesday, the 12th of July. Hey, did you know there's gonna be a summer festival in Odaiba? Summer festival, huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's hot out that we eat all that meat. Come on, let's check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Hmm. A summer festival, hmm. huh? You think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, should we, we should worry about the finals first. Once those are over, it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. Yep. Study. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm so glad the Phantom Thieves are all over the news. Yeah. They're really taking it off since the whole Kabashita thing. The legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. We're practically one of them. And who can't relate with what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults to, to no good. The police should take notes. <laughs> yeah. Vigilante justice. Quiet down. People sure are making a fuss even though it's right before exams. Behind Kamenashiro's arrest are the Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes people's hearts. If I recall, there were similar rumors back during the business with Kamashiro-kun. 
help the weak and crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of a gentleman thief. In the long history of humans, the gentlemanly thief has been seen being briefly during times of turmoil. Now then, please look at this Mr. Picture Zikun. What? This picture depicts the final moments of Ishikawa Goemon. Do you know the answer? He did something during the Sengoku period that had him and his family boiled to death. Do you know what he did? Missionary work. Damn, he's a thief. This is it. Correct. That's correct. Ishikawa Goemon is Japan's most famous thief. He's very popular. Some called him a gentleman thief. Damn it. <laughs> but by the way, the Goemon bath comes from his name. Only stealing from the rich and powerful, and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many forms of media, like kabuki and novels. No way, well really? Zikun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that! Yeah, I just picked the first thing I read. <laughs> However, it's actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a gentleman thief. Rebellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed, propaganda by the government to sully his name. Gentleman thief Goemon may be no more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and gentlemen thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Let's just make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. But before that, you need to study for the exams that are starting tomorrow. Yeah, 30 or 27 minutes already in it. They haven't done the exams yet. Uh oh. Is this so uh, Makoto? Come in. Welcome. Oh, you're the student council president Nishima-san, correct? Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was oh nothing. no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it on my own. Good. Oh good, glad to hear it. But please, don't. There's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, All right. Yes. So I shall. Hey, <laughs> you're sounding more like a counselor in here than I am. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Let's see. <laughs> Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. <laughs> Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Well, hmm. did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yes, but it's nothing major. I've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea taking on more of a burden than one should. You really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. <laughs> adults who should be protecting me? Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. Hmm? You think so? Ah, oh, you live alone with your older sister, I see. Pardon my saying so, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. But... Honestly, it felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult guardians has to have been hard on my sister even now as well. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Do you still remember them, your parents? Yes. Hey, so... As much about my mother, admittedly, but my father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. That's so. And you're doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I am able to rely upon well. Of course, I'd never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost will never come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. Mm, I like the way you put that. No one could ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards our future. Should anything come up that you want help with, I'll be there to support you. My skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate those kind words. 
<laughs> hey. Hope you're ready for your exams. I'd be pretty sad if a leader got bad grades. True. <laughs> yeah, we're great, all right. Wait. Let's talk to her. Do -do 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 -do. They even took on the Mafia. Looks like the fantasies are going after bigger targets now. I suppose I'll ask you this too, just in case. What do you think their next target? Uh, they haven't decided yet. I see, so rather than acting right away, they choose carefully observing society for now. This will be that the criminals have been scared into hiding the, by the Phantom Thieves. True. Uh, oops. Let's go to the library. Turn on- turn this book quickly. I'm like, like the other guy. I'd like to return a book. Thank you. What would you like? I'd like to borrow a book. Aww. Alright, let me read this. Got plans to examine their clothes. Uh, however you study well, I could give you generally what they are like when I was a second year. You think we want to study together? Nah. Actually, let's... Will it go up? Where is she? Oh. Okay. Alright, I need money. Okay, so Shinjuku... I think the other job is in the bar. So let's go... Where's the flower shop? Oh, there it is. Flower shop. Let's do our job. Got plans today. Still in the hallway. Nah. <laughs> what do you want to do? You work here. Kindness. Yes, let's work. You're oh, yeah. shy. Alright, I didn't explain things to you last time. What? Let's see. We have our happy flowers day on Wednesdays and aw oh, man. Which is when we offer discounts on bouquets. Well having you choose the flowers for bouquets too. Might even bump up your pay if the customer really likes your arrangement. Damn it! So I know today isn't a happy flower day, but we do have a bouquet request. It's important that you get some practice, and so let's have you start making one. Okay. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Goon. We have an order for a bouquet. Please handle it. The customer's looking for a large, brightly colored flowers. Pick three that fit the uh, description. Uh, what was, oh no, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Pick for the right flowers. Hmm. Okay, phew. Large, large, brightly colored flowers. I, I bet light colors or white would even work too. Which flower would pick first? Oh no. Okay. A light, a large white flower. Okay. A large. Is red bright? Ugh. L yellow is bright. Large yellow flower. And. Large pink. Yeah. What do you want to do? The order is a large, brightly colored. Is this okay? Uh, was pink an option? Yeah. Mm. See, I hope they like it. What a we relief. popped up a bouquet without any complaints. I guess that's pretty standard reaction. <laughs> you want to know more about flowers, you should read the Flowerpedia. Most of the flowers sell here should be in there so i'm sure i'll help you if you read it yes ma'am here. here's your pay for today six <laughs> that's what i needed you did great good work lex could come back whenever you have the time how are you feeling nice job you worked pretty hard today still i bet this job making gifts has boosted your kindness yeah come on i'm still a two so bad. Alright, we should head home. Yes, sir. Ah, Already pretty back. late. Guess I should head home. Hey! Wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving speech in Subway again today. Nah, well. Update on the arrest of the leader of the crime game ring. Uh, Kaneshiro has admitted that he gave orders to his subordinates to carry out crimes. However, countless people fell victim to his scams. Investigating every single scam will take time. Hey! Oh, he really scammed a lot of people. I guess we just have to leave the rest to the police. Wait, who wants to talk to me? Oh, yeah. Who the hell's this? Oh, him. 
Hello, this is the manager of Orin Obokbeko. Apologies for shortness, but would you mind coming in to work today? We ended the short staff today. Very last minute, and your conversation all. Oh. This is call if I ever saw one. Efficiency? Nah. I quit. <laughs> hey, hey! You gonna play cards or puzzles? I know you have other stuff to do. Don't get too into it. Let's play a little bit. 13. Medicine of Bearing. Oh, is it. Mare. Oh. Poppy product. Opium. Or is it. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh god. O. P. I don't know how to spell it. Opium. It's hard to spell vertically. <laughs> Import illegally. Uh, smuggle? Is that. Ma. What? Ma. There's no. Oh, there is a. Okay, I was like, oh, there's only one G. Smuggle? It looks right. Import or bearing illegal. Nar. Is it narcotics? Mm, oh, oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Nar. Uh, tabs. <laughs> narcotics. I've got it. The answer is narcotics. Narcotics. This term applies to any medicine that dulls the senses, but is more often used as a generic term for both legal and illegal drugs being misused. Oh, I never actually knew that. <laughs> Morphine, a common narcotic used as a painkiller in many medical facilities is named after Morpheus, the Greek god of sleep. I didn't know that either. All right. nice. Oh wow, even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving those crossword puzzles. Yeah. I don't really need to focus on knowledge. I need to focus on kindness. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Once exams are over, we can start searching for the next target. Alright. Oh wait, wait, can I not talk to, what's his name? Actually, let's go to the red light district. Wait, that's the same. Before I talk to you, I'm gonna buy this thing so I don't die. Oh, oh you're Zisan from the other day, right? Remember you, you had a very abnormal destiny as I recall. Please take a seat. <laughs> you want to purchase a holy stone, huh? For a hundred thousand yen? You could change your fate! Mm. That much. It better not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. Yeah, better. You end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. What do you want to do? Let's buy one. Thank you very much! Here you go! Holy stone, what does that do? Oh my god, a boar! Mm -hmm. It's a smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. Already charged with It's already charged with happiness, aura, so you feel the effects right away. I forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Well, Bye! I should head home. What? But I want to talk to Mishiba! Uh, oh, you're home. Back. I was just about to close the shop up, but I forgot to turn off the stove off. Guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Hey, hey. Last time we went to the fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid a hundred thousand yen for this holy- Ah, oh, what the heck? Mm. Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? Can't be comfortable with all the scrabble at the bottom of the- Wait, Lex, I have a bad feeling about this. Huh? Hey. Hey, you mind looking over the shop a lie? The real the stone shattered! What? What's gotten into you? Hmm? Whoa. This tastes salty! Holy stone's just salt! Huh? Mm -hmm. Lex, what's going on? I'm, f I'm just a bit salty. <laughs> so mad. You're scaring me! You're salty? That reminds me. I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm, hmm I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. But in that case, maybe the host is supposed to help you get better at cooking. The fortune teller tricked us. What? You're saying she scammed us out of a hundred thousand yen? Well, we could have bought lots of fatty tuna with that money. 
true. No way. So that Holy Stone really was just a phony stone in the end. Fortune teller's name was Chihaya, right? She clearly some kind of mystical power, but it's just unacceptable. We need to get go complain to her. Turns out the Holy Stone I bought from Chihaya was a fake. I should talk to her and try to figure out their true intentions. Damn. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Wednesday, July 13th. Yo. Yo. I just heard, but apparently we're having a f summer festival soon. I hear there's gonna be shit like kebab, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I am so pumped. Is there nothing but meat? What about study? <laughs> on, well, man. uh, I'll figure it out. There was some English on the website too. Oh man, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's get going already. True. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, exam time. <laughs> I'm mad about the salt thing. All the news on Kadashira has distracted me from studying. So what if he's an honor student? Why should she get special treatment? Results are what matter, you know. I heard fan of thieves might be from our school. That can't be true. It'd be funny if it was though. <laughs> yeah. Exam time. <laughs> Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin. Uh, if angle C is 28 degrees and angle A is 88 degrees, what is angle of B and E? I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I've tried to solve for B. And I tried to solve for E, but, but he's asking for P and E. <laughs> so 180 minus 116 is 64. Oh my god, I wasted so much time drawing this stupid picture. <laughs> Ooh, we can That's do about this. right. <laughs> mm. Let's see an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin of Bao Z. Uh, Bowsy, is this hot mother? Well, never mind. Bowsy, Bowsy, is that the one? I think this came up in class. Their invented famous guy from the Romance of the Street, right? Oh, shit. So I know it's not Cow Cow, because I would remember that. Or Lu Su. <laughs> I studied guys, I swear I did. <laughs> so it's either Lu Su or Su Liang. I remember saying this, so <laughs> let me say this. Yeah, that strategist of Shu. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere Shuege Liang visited. They were offering something to the Guelu River. Uh, barbarians' heads. That's it, a crazy story. And that's how we came up with the Baozi, right? Oh, the food. Yeah, so strategist came up with the Baozi too. Offer them instead of heads. Or was that it? Heads. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Bao Zi were invented as an offering of the river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. Finished in time. Okay. I hope that's right. Uh, time is up. up. Mm, give it up already. Okay. <laughs> that was so stressful. <laughs> Math and history, and I did totally misread uh, July 14th, Thursday. Now everyone. This is the second day of finals. You may begin. The name of the genus of this organism. Shit! Shit! I actually have to know the genus. <laughs> oh no! I didn't even. I remember one of them had eight. <laughs> uh. Name of the genus. King crab, because the snow... Snow crab had more legs? King... King crab? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> it's a... It's a flip. King crab. That sounds better. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> did the... When the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time. Confusion? No. No. I guess it caused rights. But 
but it can actually cause confusion. Man, I just remembered the answers. <laughs> I didn't actually remember the question. Oh, it caused... Fuck, this is hard. Because I know... The government... Was it riots? I want to stick with riots. Oh no! <laughs> My first wrong answer. This sucks. <laughs> Friday the 15th of July. Let's get started. It's the third day of designals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What's the English equivalent of the Indonesian idiom raining witches? <laughs> raining dog. Cats and dogs. Raining frogs. Ooh, we Sounds can do about this. right. Which of the following is another name for so many noodles traditionally eaten? I remember that. Uh, or do I? Wait, no. It was guts, because it was gross. Ooh, we can do about this. Right? Saturday, July 16th. Hmm. It's the last year exams, huh? seen all of these before. You've got this, alright? Mm, nice. That's good. Looking forward to seeing your score. Oh man. Can't believe I missed one. <laughs> ah. Parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Yo. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Yeah. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? Yeah. There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. Just give me SP. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Do you need counseling? Money troubles? <laughs> well, there's a subject where I could definitely use some input. But not at the moment. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Is he a dentist? Because <laughs> of the teeth. Okay, because... here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Sure. Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? They'll turn on that person? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep. Maybe. That's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Uh, you just have to keep trying. <laughs> Reality is unfair. See, you're approaching reality from a rational point of view. Yeah. No, it could actually be that you understand reality's unfairness, yet you're willing to stand up to it. Uh, no. That may be the reason you're at this academy now. No, because I got a felony. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. 
Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. Uh -huh. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? We can't because I have a persona. Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Okay. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. Oh. And enjoy your vacation. Hell yeah. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Uh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. True. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. It's gonna rain. It seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all throughout the next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. Oh no. <sighs> Time just flew by today, huh? Today. Nice. Let's go to bed. Oh, let's, let's go to sleep. Uh, yeah, let's... Hey! Hey! Okay, can I... What? Come on, let me do one of those. Let's go because to bed. It's good that exams are over. Let's go to sleep. I guess. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, Sorry man. for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. Remember the one I told you about? I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so. Damn it! Come on. The whole thing with the kebabs. So like. Completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you want to go? Fine, fine. Yeah. Hell yeah! I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure to invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though and yeah, whatever no way it's gonna rain on a day like this see you tomorrow <sighs> well, how did he how would he know the weather's not at all rain <laughs> she all worked up over a silly little festival full of food and all kinds of well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself but be sure to keep a low profile right okay let's turn in for the night anyway let's get some sleep oh and uh, no sleeping got it I'm gonna skip breakfast for this Ugh. Uh, yeah, it looks like a uh, steam's down or something. July 17th, Sunday. What's up? What's up? Mm. Mm. Oh, wait, that's not me. <laughs> well, uh, why? why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Ooh! Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> I don't deserve such praise. 
I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. <laughs> he drew a whole painting to describe it. Sick! So, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. Yeah, I gotta do all these events. Heat wave. It's so hot. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. Yours. <laughs> and just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. On? <laughs> A TV crew, huh? Okay, I'd end up on TV. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Oh no. Ah, let's interview those three. No, no. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah. What do we do? Lex. Let's make a run for it. That would just make us appear even more suspicious. <laughs> exactly. On <laughs> TV. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so I can't use any of the footage. No, don't do that. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh. For sure, <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, <laughs> since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, yeah. I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> <laughs> sweets. What would you say that? Die for. No. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oof, that was too close. <laughs> that was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? <laughs> Check out this fruitcake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Hell yeah. Oh, right. Thank you, Bob. Damn. Are those the lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Are those 1400 each? Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. I really wanted a kebab. It's because we are together. Best friends. That's pretty poetic, dude. Better give us music notes. Nah, oh, damn it. We came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Yeah. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water in a hot tub. <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Uh, go on without me. Got something to do. Huh? Hmm. Well, see you then. See you. Yes, catch you later. Later. Senpai? Kasumi? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Yes. Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Pep talk? Hmm? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. 
Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? No, it doesn't. I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Yes, I'm starving. Kasumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. Maybe best to accompany her. What? There was no option to say no. Whew, that was delicious. Sure packed it away. I'm always like this after a meet. Holy shit, that's a lot of plates. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Ah, uh, so meat's done. Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Is it more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Who do you mean? I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she oh, shit. died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Is this really your limit? Senpai. No. And you're right. I can't let it end like this. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? <laughs> okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Good. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Yep. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't even get the news. Who do you think they're gonna target next? They only go after bad guys, right? We have nothing to be worried about. Apparently, if you post a request on the forum, they'll do what you say. They're talk taking out bad guys. It's fine by me. Keep it up. Why do you even need the police anymore? Okay, phew. That was uh, the end of the day. You're back. Beep, 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 beep. How could you see? wrong you were going to the summer festival why did you fight what did you say how does Mishima know about that they're showing it on TV something about being hot in December <laughs> or the sweets are to die for <laughs> there are a bit there's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff <laughs> mission failed mission what are you talking about look my point is next time you guys are going out to have fun can I come along too I'm the Phantom Thieves producer, you know? Oh, You're kidding me? I hope Lady Ann and the others have found out. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you think you'll be trusted just because you've been a good kid for three months here? Today we'll be talking about summer events. Hot and juicy meat. Let's check out how the summer festival went. Start the video. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? I'd say we'd really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. Sweets are just to die for. We <laughs> should answer the interview. Real? Oh man, in the end, he's the son of teeth that footage. <laughs> I have something. Okay, I already fed it. Let's just check the thing. <laughs> Let's see a movie. Oh. I feel like the movie everyone's but seeing about the summer debuts. Everyone's talking about love, possibly. I get kind of weepy, so embarrassing to go alone. Can you watch it with me? Oh no, <laughs> not yet. Here's our commemorative photo for the summer festival. At least that was the idea. <laughs> it's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. 
It's uh, understandable given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and sl slipped. Next time we'll make sure we go somewhere we can actually breed. Prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills of water. Ah, uh, that'd be just the diner again. <laughs> Why not? It's a place of calm where one may also partake of delicious food. I mean, I guess, man, all this talk about food's got me hungry. Cup of ramen would hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I received, I recently acquired some high quality bread crusts. Sorry. I can scratch it for you. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. I want to look at the picture again. <laughs> oh, she, <laughs> he was uh, actually trying to get it. Okay. So, wait, can I go out? Oh, thank you. Thieves them updated. Talk to the kids. Man, these are amazing! They got the bad guys! Steal people's hearts, right? You think you could steal the tests for our summer classes? No, dummy! If they steal anything, they'll steal the hearts of the teachers and parents. We'll make them cry TV and say sorry because they made us study too much. Mm -hmm. True. How can I help you? Can I sell stuff? Wait, how much money do I have? Okay, I do not have any money. So... I want to go to Shinjuku. Okay, it's only a hundred. And I could talk to Mishima. Hi. If these are practically, yeah. Uh, how do I talk to you? Helping? Do you have time? Uh, no, not yet. I just want to check the box. Leave it to me. Ten? Oh no! What does this do? Backup. Oh, the same XP? Okay, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Let me... Oh, see you later. Alright. Uh, do I have time? I don't want it to end and then we gotta do the thing, so... Uh, oh shit, it's these two. Stop harassing people and make a more honest living. I'm sure your parents would agree with me. No way, my parents are scumbag gambling addicts and... As their son, I'm a natural scumbag too. You gotta learn whether these people are saying the Phantom Thieves do better work than the police. Hmm, what a rotten bastard. Get you one of these days. Mm -hmm. That is these two. Mm -hmm. You see the news? The Phantom Thieves worked their magic and got that mafia guy to give it up. Hey, careful with how you say things. You got such a dirty mind, you know that? Look who's talking, lusting after a boy at least 20 years younger than you. Oh, lay off. I can't believe it. I can't help it. Besides, I'm not really me if I'm not in love with somebody. Ugh. People are wishing up now that Kaneshiro's behind bars. That just means we gotta go after those poor naive country, country pumpkins. Bring them in, even if you gotta do it by force, got it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is this a vending machine? Oh, oh. shit. Oh, shit! Go in here. I think the job is here. Oh, honey. Sorry, Chico isn't here today. That's right. Get into this place like this, you won't turn out to be a good adult. Or could you be interested in working nights here? I'm not interested. Come on. Uh, you should be more mindful of how you treat ladies. Otherwise, you won't grow up to be into a good man. Yeah, let's do that later. You take care now. Don't wander too much, in sir. You might uh, kidnap you and gobble you down. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, go here, but then. This is about to get fun. Ooh! These machines all have it? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. The next time, I'm gonna confront the scammer, and then. If it doesn't end the day, we'll hang out with Mishima. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.